Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be a really fun one because I am going to be unboxing loads of books that I've purchased over like the last month or so. I decided to treat myself to a little end of summer book haul and I might have gone a bit overboard. The thing is, I placed literally like one online order, but everything just came in separate packaging. So I have like so many packages to open. I don't even remember the books that I have in here. Like I've just been getting packages nonstop for like weeks at this rate. And so I have all of those to unbox. I also have some fun boxes to unbox. This one is the Fallen Men series box that I purchased from Gianna Darling. So I'm actually really excited to share this one with you guys. And I'm also going to be reviewing this subscription box which was sent to me so graciously by Bell Book Box. So everything else other than this was purchased by myself for this video. I also have a little giveaway for the end for you guys. So stay tuned for that. This it's probably going to be a long one, so settle in, break it up into parts if you need to, um, but I'm really excited, so I'm just going to get started and share um, what's in these bags and boxes. So I'm going to start with all of the Amazon ones because that's what the majority of this is. I have my scissors. This is literally like Christmas, like I genuinely don't know what's in every single package because they're all packaged separately, so we will see. Ooh, this is a good one to start with. So we first have Stepbrother Dearest by Penelope Ward. This is one that I've been wanting to purchase for quite some time now. I should tell you guys, most of the books that I bought I have read already. Um, I've been doing this thing where I read books on my Kindle and then if I really love them I decide to buy them in paperback. Previously I would just like buy a bunch of paperbacks blindly and then like I end up having a ton of books that I haven't even read. So I like to read them online first and then decide if I want to buy it. So. If you guys watch my channel, you may know this is one of my favorites. I absolutely love Penelope Ward's uh, books, and this is one of my all-time faves from her, so I'm very excited to finally have this paperback. It's so cute, so I'm very excited. I don't even know how I'm going to go about stacking all of these, but okay. Next. This is so fun and exciting, guys. I really love this. Let me know if you guys prefer, like, when I actually unbox them on camera, or if you'd rather just watch a book haul of, like, me sharing all of the books. I don't know, I think this is kind of fun. Um, but the next book we have is one that I'm so excited because it's one that I recently read and fell in love with. I mentioned it in my last video and it is called Bad Boys Break Hearts by Miklia Michaela Schmelzer. Still trying to figure out how to say her name, but this is one of my favorite books that I read over the summer. It was such a phenomenal read, enemies to lovers, excellence. I love this book so so much I highly recommend it and the cover is just I don't know I like it it's really like soft and it matches my sweet dandelion I'm sure it'll look really cute next to it so I had to get this one it was like a last minute addition to the haul because I really loved it so I wanted the paperback so really really excited to finally have that I say finally like I didn't read the book three weeks ago okay <laughs> um next I feel bad with all this packaging like I genuinely placed one order is there a way to like make it so that they only send it in one box or something like that or do they come from different places like I really don't know how it works but I would love to like minimize my waste with all these packages it's kind of upsetting but next up this is so exciting this is a new release that I have been dying to have my hands on so many of you guys have asked me if I've read it yet and I have not and it is Heartbones by Colleen Hoover my favorite author of all time you guys may or may not know I absolutely love her. She genuinely introduced me to the romance genre and I am just, I'm so excited for her new book. So many of my friends have already read it and fell in love with it. So behind, I always just blind buy her books because I know that I will love them. So whenever she has a new release, I just go and run and buy the paperback, especially to help her out with her first week sales. So I'm so, so excited to finally have this in my hands and read it very soon, hopefully, so I can let you guys know who have been asking what I think about it. But so, super excited for that one. Okay. Next up, this is like a guessing game. Oh, we have another Penelope Ward. This is Room Hate, another one of my favorites from her. This is another one that I've had like in my basket and then taken it out and then been like, no, like I need to buy it and then I don't buy it. So happy to finally have it. I'm absolutely stoked that it matches the height of Stepbrother Dearest. You guys know how I am um, with my books. I like them all to match if it's the same author or the same series. So even though, even though this one has a matte cover, and this one has glossy. They are the same height, which is more important 
different than texture so I'm very excited for this so really happy to have these two books on my shelves coming soon also speaking of shelves coming soon I know that I need to film a book shelf tour that's what it is right a bookshelf tour yeah I haven't done a bookshelf tour like a full bookshelf tour of all my books since actually 2015 <laughs> literally 2015 it's been almost six years so that's really embarrassing I just have so many books that it's like hard to have them nicely organized I do have multiple shelves in my room like I have this shelf I have shelves over there over there over here like I have so many um I just have a ton of books I have almost like 800 books so it's hard to keep them all organized my bedroom is so tiny it's just like not cute so sometimes they're just like stacked randomly and like don't look good so it's really like I need to find a day to just organize them to look beautiful for you guys because I really want to share with you guys what it all looks like but I just I've been slacking so I will be getting on that hopefully by the end of the year I'll have that for you guys maybe as a little little Christmas present or something the next book I have here is called A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. This is actually one of the books that I haven't read that I decided to buy. I really just like the cover on this one and I've heard so many people absolutely rave about this book and I haven't read it yet. I've heard that it's super emotional, which I love, so I'm excited to give it a go. I honestly don't even know what it's about, but I trust you guys and I don't know, so I decided to pick up something different. I thought it might spice up the haul to not just have books that I've already read so I am excited for this one hopefully I will pick it up soon and let you guys know what I think so very fun very cool this is literally the never-ending haul there's still so many packages next to me oh this one has two books in it okay first off we have the dare by L Kennedy this is the fourth and final book in the Briar U series this is the only one that I need to complete my series um, if you guys watched my book haul from like the beginning of summer I bought the whole Briar U series other than this book because it wasn't out yet so now I have all four and I have all four off campus so my collection is complete this one's actually really pretty I really like the pink so that's fun then in here oh this is cool I have good gone bad by Gianna Darling and I showed you guys the fallen men box that I'm going to share with you in that box there are two signed books from this series so I decided to pick the two books that I wanted signed the most and then buy the rest of the books in paperback just on Amazon so this is good gone bad this is the third book in this series it's actually maybe one of my favorites I was like really close to getting this one signed and not her newest book which I decided to go with so you'll see that but this is the third book I bought the rest so hopefully they'll show up sometime in these bags but really excited to see what's in that box guys it's gonna be like a bunch of little uh, swag items and then two signed books so that'll be cool to share with you guys oh no this one's bent you guys know how I am Amazon you did not uh, look at that I'm gonna have to press it under something that annoys me especially because it's like a mattified book um, the crease is never gonna go away so kind of mad but whatever this is royally screwed by Emma Chase which is a book that I really really love if you guys like the selection and selection um, but you want like a new adult version this is the new adult version but it's not the selection it's just like royalty guy who like can't date a real world girl kind of love this book a lot it's also a series there's multiple books about different people but this first one is my favorite there's like a smudge on the there's like a I don't know if you can see it there's like a dent right here why is it so banged up <sighs> you guys know I'm just I'm just a perfectionist like this looks fine to any other person but to me I'm like this is like bad condition um so whatever it's fine but i'm really excited to have this finally i read it i think maybe two years ago and i really really loved it so i've wanted to buy it for a while now also in this same bag is another book from the fallen men series this is lessons in corruption this is the first book so this one is probably my least favorite if i'm being completely honest i still like it but i like the other ones more um, so I'm excited though I wanted to have the whole collection instead of just getting two in the box so I figured it would be a good time to purchase the rest so excited to finally 
have those. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is the fourth book in The Fallen Men. This is After the Fall. I actually haven't even read this one yet. So there's the fifth book in the other box. I haven't read the fourth yet. I've only read one through three. So I need to get on that. But it follows the same characters from this first book. So I'm kind of interested to see like what it'll be about because it's always interesting to see authors write a second book on a couple in like a contemporary companion novel type series. So I don't know. Interested to see that. So I will definitely be reading it soon because I want to get to the fifth book as well. Ooh, this is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I've been slowly but surely expanding my Penelope Douglas paperback collection. So this was kind of next on my list. It's one of my favorites by her. And the cover is just like really cool. So I wanted to have it. So this will be sitting very beautifully next to my birthday girl copy. I think it's the same height. I don't want to like jinx it, but I think it's the same height. So that's always fun. But really excited to finally have this one. Another one that I've just been like going back and forth with. Do I want to buy it? Do I not? So we shall see. The last thing from Amazon is actually a box. The only box that I was given by them. The rest were those weird mailing bags. So this one feels a little heavier. There might be two books in here. I honestly forget what else is even left. So we'll see. Okay. Oh my god. This book is huge. This is, <laughs> this is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. I read this? Oh my god. It's humongous. I read this on my Kindle in a day. A day, Laura? A day? Oh my god. This is a Bible. <laughs> it's huge. Oh my god. I've literally never... This is like breaching Breaking Dawn. This is so long. It's 600 plus pages. Oh my god, I was not expecting it to be this big. I can't believe I read this whole book. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, I'm like in shock, but really excited to have this. It's one of my favorites that I read this year. Um, so really fun. It's very slow burn too, and it's like the longest book on earth. Wow. Surprised by something every day. So really excited to have that. I can't even, like, compared to like this. What? <laughs> How is this real? What? I don't even know. Okay, underneath that, what did I get? Oh, this is The Unrequited by Saffron Kent. This is the first book I have actually owned by Saffron. I love all of her books. I've literally read almost all of them, I think. So I wanted to get this one. It's one of my favorites by her. But slowly but surely, I'm going to keep collecting the rest so that I can expand my collection of her books because I want them all in paperback. So this was the first stepping stone to that. So really excited to have it. Really love this book. So yeah, those are all of the Amazon books. Literally look at all this packaging. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna have to dispose of that after the video, but Whew. okay. Next we're going to do the fallen men and then we're going to do the subscription box. Um, so hopefully this doesn't take an eternity to share with you guys, but I wanted to go through it on camera. I thought it would be fun. There was also a limited amount of these boxes. Um, they went so, so fast. I can't even believe that I was able to get one. Um, so I thought I would share it for those of you that maybe wanted to get one, but didn't have the time or the money at the time. It was a little expensive if I'm being honest, but I thought it would be worth it to get to share it with you guys. So yeah, and she's going to be doing another round of like something similar next year. So this isn't available, unfortunately, to purchase anymore. But if it's something that you think you would like, make sure you're in her reader group and you might have the chance to get it next year. Sorry, this is like a lot of tape. Don't want to cut myself. Let's open it together. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see. Oh, this is cool. It's like the print of one of the books. I don't know if, yeah, you can see. It's like the print of one of the books that I already unboxed. Um, let me just show you. See this? And see that? That's cool, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you the books first um, that are in here, and then we'll go through like the little swag items. So here are the two books. First one that I had to get signed is Welcome to the Dark Side. This is probably my favorite. Pretty close with the third book. This is the second book. I really, really love it. So this says XOXO. Gianna Darling, it's signed right at the top. So that's really cool. It's always nice to get signed books. I think that's always just special to have in the collection. Um, and then Inked and Lo Whoa. 
a bookmark fell. Um, Ain't and Lies, which is the fifth book that just came out. This one is also signed. So I wanted to get this one in this box as a signed book because I feel like I'm really gonna like it. Like knowing what it's about and everything, I just feel like it's gonna become one of my favorites. So I thought ahead and decided to get it signed. Um, so also there's this Fallen Men bookmark in here which has kind of the inked and lies on one side and then the rest of the books on the other. So that's really cool. Everything's packaged like so perfectly. Like this was like slid in here. Oh, this is a candle, is it? Oh my God. Ooh, so this is the Officer Danner candle. It smells like the ocean, not the ocean, but it smells like clean, I don't know, but it smells really good. I enjoy candle scents that are just kind of like just so because I feel like they linger for days in my tiny bedroom if I burn something that's super intense. Also here is this property of Zeus who is the character from Welcome to the Dark Side, which is my favorite. Um, so I love that. I don't drink alcohol, but I will display this on my shelf very proudly, so love that. Um, here is a bag. This is Paradise Found Bookstore. Oh my god, this is a very... Um, important location in the book series and I love reusable bags I bring them everywhere I bring them shopping I bring them to the grocery store so always handy to have more of these there's this little bag that says the fallen family is more than blood I love that so much I love little pouches and things like this whenever I travel I just put everything in little pouches so oh my god there's a bunch of stuff in here this is a is this a coaster Eugene's bar that's cool some stickers bookish bags for every reader oh that's the brand that made the bag I'm assuming and then these are some stickers Casanova which is the newest book Garrow girl which is the family and then the fallen men sticker that is so cute and this pin says JB and LM this is from the newest book I'm assuming so that's really cute and then the last thing in here is this entrance BC Canada home of the fallen little map which I think it's always fun to see like maps of where your books take place I love when they're like in the paperbacks but this is a really cool close second so yeah lots of really fun stuff in here honestly the box was worth it to me just to get the two signed books so I'm really excited for those but I do think that the whole merchandise stuff is a really fun idea so really stoked to have all this stuff thank you so much Gianna for putting together this box I'm really excited to have been one of the people that got it so really Really cool if you guys haven't checked out the fallen men series you should it's so addictive I don't even know where to put this oh my god so the last thing I have to unbox for you guys today is this bell book box which is a bookish subscription service this was sent to me by the company as I told you guys previously I just want to preface this by saying that I get asked to do book unboxings and different types of reviews constantly in my email and I say no to about 90% of them. I genuinely do. I used to review a ton of different subscription boxes on my channel, but I just couldn't keep promoting them when I didn't feel that they were worth it at that rate, like just being completely honest. So I was apprehensive to receive this box. However, upon asking for a little more information on the box and how it works and everything like that, I do think that this is a subscription service that some of you guys will be interested in. So that's the only reason I'm reviewing this box today on my channel because I genuinely think that 90% of the time book subscription services are just not worth it. However, this one includes romance books that are all signed. So I feel like that already off the bat is a really good sign. I took a look at their Instagram and other people's reviews and I felt really comfortable with actually showing the box to you guys because one, I actually recognized a lot of the authors that they were supplying in these boxes, which is always a good sign. And they were actually giving out good items with the books as well, not just like little gimmicky things that I don't think are necessarily worth it. However, when it comes to subscription services, when there's more than one book and they are signed, I feel like that's already a good sign. So I'm excited to open this for you guys. I've had this sitting in my room for a while because I want wanted to wait till everything else came in but you can see here it is jam-packed of stuff I see candy oh my god there's candy in here guys okay should I go through the books first probably this box has three books which I think is fantastic there are different levels to this box where they have different amounts of books and different amounts of items for different price points so I'll have all the information on that link down below as long as their website they did also give me a coupon for you guys to use which is bell 10 um, I'll have all that linked down below as well just so you guys have it all in one place so I'm gonna just go in and share the books with you guys first um, the top one on here is Dream Maker by Kristen Ashley. It looks like this. I have actually never heard of this book, but Kristen Ashley is an author I have heard of. 
you guys can see that it is signed there. But like I told you guys, these are all romance books, which I love. So I feel like I like this kind of subscription better than one where it's like you don't know what kind of genre you're getting or a book box that maybe does multiple genres. Like when it's just so focused on romance, I feel like that's always good. Um, here we have Battle of the Sexes by Adriana Locke. This is actually a pretty thin book, but it's like tall. Um, so I'm assuming this is more of a like short novella type thing, which I like reading these. I think they're fun for like end of the year trying to add more to your reading goal type books. And then the final book in here is actually huge. So that's cool. This is Crave Part 1 and 2 by E.K. Blair. So that's fun. I like how it's almost two books in one. So it's almost like getting four books. Um, so that's really awesome. This is signed. Did I show you the other one was signed? Did I even show that? I don't even remember. So that one's signed too. So yes, all signed books. That's really, really cool. Like I was saying, I did see boxes where I'd heard of all of the authors and it was like books I've read. This is books that I haven't read, but I have a good feeling about them considering that the box also provides authors I've liked. So it's more likely that I'll enjoy these books as well. So I think it's fun. It's a fun way to discover new authors and new books that maybe you hadn't heard of if you hadn't got it. So kind of cool. I'm going to share the items with you guys. This first thing is candy. These are from Candy Club, which I actually used to subscribe to Candy Club a hot second ago. They're green apple sour belts. Oh my god, do I eat one on camera? It wasn't lying about the sour. <laughs> I have sensitive teeth, but I would risk it all for these. These are so good. My mouth's like salivating now. Oh my god. Okay, love that. It's worth it for the candy. Um, this is a little pin. It says secret book sniffer. Do people do that? <laughs> do people smell books secretly? I don't know. That's kind of funny. Um, this is a sticker. What does this say? You do you, boo. Oh my god. Me and my friends all call each other boo, so that's kind of funny. Love that. What is this? this is this a wallet? What is this? me trying to open it it just slides out the other side oh my god it's literally a wallet it's so cute look at the pink and the little tassel and the heart sometimes when I go out places I don't like to have like my whole purse and I just want something small like this so this would be a really cute option wow didn't expect to literally get a whole accessory in here okay the last item what is this a pillowcase or something let me see Ooh. This is a nice texture. Is this a, yeah, this is a pillowcase. It says, I kind of, sort of, maybe, quite possibly am in love with a fictional character. Okay, self call out. That's literally me. You see that? That's so cute. I remember I used to film all my videos on my bed and I used to have different pillows. This could have been a cute one. Um, but I'll definitely put a pillow in here and use that. So that's really cute. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with everything that came in the box. Again, like I said, just getting three signed books is off the bat really, really nice. So having all the little extra stuff is also fun. However, these types of boxes are definitely personal preference. Some people don't really care about getting like little things like this or little pins and candy. Like if you don't care about that stuff, that's on you and you don't have to get a box like this if that's not something you would enjoy however I think getting little things and getting candy is really fun so if you want that with a side of books then it's a fun experience to do and again with the coupon code you'll have a little bit off so up to you I'm not getting paid for any of this I'm not getting paid to talk about it or share it with you I just thought it could be something fun to kind of bring to the table and let you guys know about because I feel like the romance subscription boxes are more hard to come by I feel like a lot don't do romance so it's up to you guys but I thought I would share it with you on my channel so yeah my teeth are gonna hurt after this oh my god so for all of you that are still here thank you for watching by the way I have a little bit of a book giveaway for you guys so this is the book they Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman, and I went out and bought this the past week because it was announced that Sydney Sweeney and her company are going to be turning this into a TV show, and the TV show is also going to include Halsey, so I'm so excited for that. You guys know I love Halsey, and I immediately went out and bought the book, and I bought two because I wanted one of you guys to have a copy, so this will be your copy. My copy's over there on my bookshelf already, but... I really wanted to share this with you guys. So if you want a chance to win the book, I'm going to be posting on my Instagram and on my Twitter 
and it'll have instructions on how to enter so you have to follow me on my social medias to be a part of this giveaway it's not going to be through my YouTube so keep that in mind but it's really simple to enter I promise it's gonna be easy so I'll have all the instructions on how to do so down below but it's probably gonna be like retweeting something liking something resharing something like something simple like that but I'll have the giveaway open for a week and then I'll send the lucky winner their copy of They Wish They Were Us. And then I'm going to read it soon, so maybe we can read it together. So that'll be fun. So that's another book that I got that I wanted to share with you guys. Super random. But I think that about does it for the book haul. I'm literally surrounded by trash and books, so it's kind of fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Of course, let me know any books that you have picked up recently. Have you done a little end of summer book splurge? Let me know. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also give me a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Again, follow me on all of my social medias down below and you can enter the giveaway that way as well. But other than that, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye!